A few years ago, while driving a back road in Vermont, around 1 to 2 a.m., we spotted something dark in the headlights. Roughly 50 feet ahead was this solid dark mass. It looked to be waist high at the max, possibly slightly shorter, but the one thing we both remember most is its stance. It was so weird and unorthodox in its movements. We crept closer and closer to it with the car. With high beams illuminating the creature about 10 feet or less from car, we could see it was shaped kind of like a dog or wolf. But more than anything, it looked like a wolverine. My girlfriend had never seen a wolverine so she had no idea what this thing was. As we watched, it was doing these weird circles while kind of watching us. It wasn't very big, but its mannerisms were causing us to panic. We had never seen an animal move like this. Somewhat like a bulldog, with a thick and wide, very muscular frame. I remember its forearms on its front legs were kind of bowed inward, but the thick part of the leg must have been as big as my upper arm. Again, it wasn't huge, maybe three feet tall or so. It was also around three feet wide. I couldn't guess a weight because of its weird body. But to me, it looked like a 100 pound, all black, nasty wolverine with a canine head. It would not leave. On the road, it kept circling out in front of us, almost daring us to get out and investigate. I'm into the paranormal, so I was convinced we were looking at something no one, or very few people, had ever seen before. Man, I wish we had a camera. I started beeping the horn at it, because by this point we were scared for our lives. Even inside a locked car, this thing was giving us bad vibes. Something told us if it wanted to get in, it could. This whole event lasted two minutes. It eventually walked off the side of road very slowly. As burly and rugged as this thing looked, all I remember is how slowly it moved. It eyeballed and taunted us for the entire two minutes. Once we got home, I showed my girlfriend a picture of a wolverine and she said, that's it. I ended up talking to a field biologist about this the very next day. He made it clear that it's impossible that it was a wolverine. I said, well, it's either an 80 plus pound, extremely burly and nasty looking wolverine, or it was a young werewolf. He jokingly said it would more likely be a werewolf than a wolverine in Vermont. To this day, I still wonder what it was. But I am so grateful we were inside the car. Had we been on foot, I had this overwhelming feeling we would have been slaughtered. Anyway, that's my encounter. My encounter was in September of 2018. I live on the edge of the Sam Houston National Forest. Strange things had been happening for about a month, like things coming to my house and weird sounds in the woods behind my house. My wife and I had a dog that was taken by something. I saw a thing grab my dog and yank it into the tree line. Unfortunately, I couldn't see what grabbed her. But when my wife and I went to find her, in the place where she disappeared, there were no signs of a struggle, no blood, no fur, nothing. It was like whatever took my dog had just vanished. Early one morning around 4, I was sitting on my porch smoking a cigarette, enjoying the peace and quiet. But this time it was too quiet. There was absolutely no sounds. Normally, there are always sounds out there. I shined my spotlight around from the backside of my property and followed the tree line. I came to the biggest tree, directly across from my front porch. Next to the tree was the biggest wolf head I have ever seen. It was looking at me from behind the tree. This head had to be about four to four and a half feet off the ground. This thing had the brightest green eyes I have ever seen. They were captivating. I just stared, slightly shaking with delight in my hand. After a few seconds, this thing grabbed the tree with its hand. Not a paw, but a hand, and stood up next to the tree. I was floored. What in the hell am I looking at? I was in shock and completely terrified. This creature was gray and standing there just looking at me. I couldn't move. I was shaking terribly. This thing then took two steps towards me. That snapped me out of my trance and I reached behind me, trying to feel my door knock. I ran inside and woke up my wife. I begged her to come outside and see this. Surprisingly, instead of yelling at me for waking her, she could tell something was wrong with me because of how I sounded. 
She came to the front door, and I just knew this thing would be gone by now. But it wasn't. There it stood, and the look on my wife's face said it all. She was seeing what I was seeing. The creature then dropped to all fours, and walked down the tree line back into the forest. I've never been the same since. It left me scarred to where I'm afraid of the woods at night, and very jumpy to noses and things. It looked like a giant gray werewolf, which I now know is probably what is referred to as a dog man. People need to know that these things are out there. I'm not saying people should go out there and obliterate them all, as if they could even find them, but people should be aware that they do exist, and they are out there. Believe me, I've tried telling others, but they just laugh and make jokes. They think I'm nuts, and that's the reason people who have encounters shut down and stop sharing their experiences. Anyways, that's it in a short nutshell. Thanks for listening. Hello, I live in Northeast Ohio, and the area I'm going to tell you about is a country township. There's one blinking traffic light and lots of woods, farms and lakes. Every night I would take my granddaughter, who was nine years old, for a ride down all the back roads to see if we could spot some deer. One night we were coming down a road with no houses, as it was with most of the roads around this area. We were coming up on a part of the road that had the back end of a Christmas tree farm on the right, with deep woods and a creek on the left. We were driving slow so we would see a deer if there were any, since it was a common place to see them. All of a sudden, from out of the trees on the left, a huge, and I mean this thing was a good seven, a eight foot long. Wolf-like creature came loping across the road not twenty feet in front of us. I say loping because it ran awkwardly, like it didn't normally move on for legs, like if you or I got on our hands and feet and tried to run. There was something odd about its back legs. The best way I can describe it, it was almost like they had an extra bone or joint to them. I was stopped and staring in disbelief. At this point, my granddaughter said, Grammy, what is that? Like I said, it had long black fur and was thin but long-legged. Its chest was huge like a bulldog type, only much bigger. Its tongue was hanging to the side. I didn't notice any teeth nor did I recall a tail. I was so intent on those back legs. It loped, but pretty fast, across the road and disappeared into the woods. I know it wasn't a coyote, and there were no wolves in this area. Now, I'm a country girl. The woods and the beasts in them have never given me any concern. But watching this thing move across the road gave me such a feeling of dread, it actually left me with a kind of sick feeling. I have to add that this area is a hotspot for Bigfoot sightings. They go back for decades. The house we lived in was surrounded by woods and a railroad track ran through them. About a mile back, there was an old Indian burial mound that only a handful of the old timers knew about. Past this was a Bigfoot habitat or hunting area. I say that because they had built an enormous corral out of 30 foot trees, all locked within each other and in a semicircle. It was marked with a huge X made of some giant trees. The back of this area butted up against the very back edge of one of the lakes. There are at least three large lakes that all connect and I believe that was how they traveled between the areas. One winter, after a big snow, I had left work and went to my friends to stay the night. At six in the morning, my daughter, who was 16 years old, called and told me I needed to come home right now to see something. She wouldn't say why, just that I had to get there fast. When I got home she said our dogs, who were in a fenced in an area off of the back of the house, had started going crazy that night. She looked out her window on the second floor, but didn't see anything, and the way the pups were carrying on she was too scared to go outside. Then she showed me the footprints. At the base of a huge catalpa tree was the first one, then another about six feet from that. They continued like that for a ways, and then it turned and walked to the dog fence. Here the prince sort of shuffled back and forth. Then they continued through the yard and across the road into the woods, getting even further apart as it went. These prints had toes. 
They were not that long, maybe eight inches, and they were narrow at the heel and slightly wider at the top. There were also very obvious claw prints. Bigfoot or Dogman, I don't know. But whatever it was, walked on two legs. One last thing. I took my granddaughter and grandson for a drive round the lake one night. We stopped because a deer went tearing across the road. It wasn't rut season, so I was wondering what scared it. All of a sudden, my granddaughter grabbed my arm and said, Crammy go, go, go. I looked at the spot where her eyes were focused and saw two bright red spots about 10 feet up in the thick brush. I just looked at them, wondering what they might be, and then they blinked. That was that. We got the hell out of there. This area is in Portage County, Ohio, near Atwater to be specific. If you check it out, you'll see there has been a lot of activity there over the years. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to help us grow. Thanks for watching.